Hey gang, good morning. Hope morning. you guys are having a fantastic day. Sharon and I are heading down to Dolphin Island. Hope I said that right. And we're gonna check it out. A lot of history down there in old Indian history. There's a lot of cool things to see and do. Um, oh, go on, do I tell them the truth? Why do you really want to go to Dolphin Island? Well, there's a place called the Lighthouse Bakery, yeah. which is where we're gonna start our trip, <laughs> our day. We yeah. might, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to have some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna check that out first and then go check out the aquarium, the Fort Gaines, some of the Indian down, the old history there, bird sanctuary, it's gonna be a really cool trip. So we're gonna have you guys come along with us and uh, we'll talk about a lot of the cool history that's down there as we move along. Let's explore. getting down towards the Gulf of Mexico here. Island, and we're kind of leaving the mainland, I will say, by the, you can see by, on the Google Maps there, but we've got a bridge coming up. Not sure what the name of it is, but if you look over here to the left, hopefully you can see it. But there's oil rigs way out there. Sharon, slide your visor up out of the way just for a second. I know the sun's right there. But if you guys can see them way out there on the horizon, there's oil rigs. So this is pretty cool. So it's a really nice drive down here. Once you get out of the kind of the city-ish area, it's very, um, very cool down here. Check out this, like the wetlands over on this side. Wow, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. We made it. This is going to be really, really good. Boy, wants to get a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Nice. We're going to check this out. This is going to be so good. So good. Our first stop. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Amazing. I'll have one of each. <laughs> I'll have one of each, Sharon says. Look at this. This is a really, really cool place. I read a lot about it and I could not wait to get here. Sharon, what are you going to have? Well, want to split a cinnamon roll? Sure, let's split the world famous cinnamon rolls. Nice, good idea. Can I get a cup of coffee too? Sure, what's that? Um, large will be fine. What's y'all's names? I'm Nancy and Michaela. Michaela and Nancy helping us out here. Very cool. What a great place. Dolphin, okay. Dolphin Island. Okay, so it's called oh. Dolphin Island, just spelt differently. Dolphin. Yes, and yes. you said it, it's, what's the history of that? Uh, something about that originated from um, a king named um, Do Dolphin. Dolphin. The, yeah, yeah. That means the heir to the throne. There's yes. the king and then the, whoever the heir is is the dolphin. Yes. But it is pronounced dolphin, because on the way down here, I'm sitting there trying, I gotta figure out how to actually pronounce it right so I don't butcher it in the video. <laughs> yes, okay, sir. well thanks, I appreciate that input. This is our newlyweds. Yeah. They just got married from Kansas City. Yeah, the honeymoon. Hey. From Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Sharon? These dishes are the bomb. Yeah, that's the blueberry one you got there? This is the blueberry, yep. And I, I don't even like Danishes, to be honest, but these are delicious. Well, that's blueberry and cream cheese, right? Yep. Yeah, those things are awesome. Then they got the strawberry. We got a half and half combo going on here. So, yeah, right? That's tasty. 
Damn, the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Okay, Admiral Farragut. <laughs> hey, we're over here at Fort Gaines now, and we're gonna learn a little bit about this um, fort and the history of it and everything. But first, we're gonna go check out some water, and then uh, we'll head into Fort Gaines. Sounds like a plan. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is right across from Fort Gaines. You know, because Fort Gaines is right on the right on the edge here, right on the coast. And uh, this is pretty cool. And that's the bridge, if you can see it way out there, that's a bridge we came over to get on the island. And then Fort Morgan is somewhere out that direction. But you can see all the oil rigs out here. If you can see that one way out there is an oil rig sitting out there, pretty sizable. And they're all over this area, of course. We saw them from the uh, bridge coming in. Looks like we got some storm damage here, huh? Wow. Watch your step. Watch your step. And there's, okay, there's Fort Gaines over there. There's a, the battery, one of the batteries. You can see the whole fort's over there. But this is the, um, what they're guarding the entrance to Mobile, Ma oh, Mobile Bay around this area is what they're doing or what they did. We got a, what looks like a little scout boat or something out there coming through. That's pretty cool. What do you think that boat is, Sharon? It's like some sort of um, craft that goes from the maybe the oil rigs into shore or something. Yeah, I don't know. Because there's some oil rigs and all out there. The whole area is dotted with them. There's the one way out there. So this is pretty cool. And looks like some storm damage here on the on the pier. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like one of those the boats maybe they would ferry workers back and forth between the uh, between the oil rigs and, and land, I'll say. That's what it looks like. All right, pretty cool. Let's go check out Fort Gaines. Let's. Damn the torpedoes. Nice. That's amazing. Hello. Hello. This is amazing ship from as old as this is Can you imagine all the other treasures that are still out in that ocean all right all right we're gonna go learn a ton of stuff about fort Gaines and it's history there's Sharon skipping into the fort. Nice. Look at this. Oh, who goes there? <laughs> nice, Sharon. Nice. You could you could get a job here. Look at this. I love these arches. Wow. Wow. We got a lot to explore. How many points of interest are there in here, Sharon? Did she say? I think it's a 23. 23, which is really cool because this brochure they give you has mm -hmm. got all the different points. So you go to each each uh, location and then you read about them. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, so let's go. Look at this place, it's massive. I can't wait till we get up top there and see the see the water. So come on, let's go. Fort Gaines is best known for its role in the Battle of Mobile Bay during the American Civil War. The Battle of Mobile Bay, one of the last conflicts of the war, which was so important to both sides. The battle raged on for many days with both land and sea skirmishes. Several of the battles included ironclad boats from both sides. The fort has the original canyons used in the battle. The interior courtyard of the fort has several pre-Civil War brick buildings, including blacksmith shops and kitchens. It also features a unique tunnel system out to the fortified corner bastions. The fort museum details the history of this period as well as the French colonial presence beginning in the late 17th century. Other exhibits at the fort include the huge anchor from the USS Hartford, which was Admiral David Farragut's flagship, on which he gave his world-famous command. Damn the torpedoes! Full speed ahead!
Yeah, share a little privacy with me. Oops, nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh dang, they're probably out of TP too. I would imagine. <laughs> All right, well it's very uh, very social. <laughs> it is social a very hour. social hour. <laughs> Look at Sharon playing on the turtle like a little kid. Nice. I actually remember doing this as a little girl at Como Zoo. Como Zoo. They actually let you do that back in the day. Get to ride, ride a, on the giant turtle. Like a real turtle? Yep, a real turtle. What would Peter say about I that know. today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, supposed to have a pretty cool uh, exhibit here. Stingrays, gonna get pets some stingrays maybe. And after Sharon sat on a turtle, I'm not sure what she's gonna do to a stingray here. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't try to ride that. Get us kicked out of here. But it's a pretty nice place. This is a, this is really cool. Hurricane simulator. A hurricane simulator. We gotta go check this out. <laughs> All right, Dwight is in the hurricane machine. <laughs> Cause he's missing Florida. You're like Jim Cantor. <laughs> I'm like Jim Cantor right now. <laughs> People the hurricane crazy. Take it. We highly recommend the hurricane um, activity outside. <laughs> I felt like Jim Cantor in there. She went there. It's not. It's just a little. It's not that bad. You got to ham it up, though. That's the way you got to do it. Here we are at the Estuarium. Coastal Water Center, part of the aquarium here, the Alabama Aquarium. Pretty cool. Aww. Aww. This is, these are pretty amazing exhibits they have here. Wow. Pretty crazy cool. I wonder what kind of turtle he is. We'll have to check him out and see what kind of turtle he is. Soft shell turtle. Yeah, the Gulf Spiny Soft Shell Turtle is what we think he is. He's having a good old time right there, let me tell you. Nice. Nice. This is Savannah. She's going to show us all about... What are you going to show us about? Marine life. Marine life. All right. What do we got? So right here, you got your different type of sponges. You can pick them up. Usually they'll be a little harder, but they're at the water right here. Look at that, the catfish. <laughs> Yeah. Then right here, like Portuguese mammal. Oh, there's yeah. the big boy. Yeah, you probably done seen this on the beach or yeah. on the land. That's the ones you'd want to stay away from. Mm -hmm. Right? Really stay away from. You can do a lot more damage to them. Than that little guy. Wow. Even though they lose their color from the sun and they're dead, these tentacles can still do some damage, as you can see. Oh, yeah. You rub up, probably rub up. They've still got the venom in them, right? Yeah, so basically if I take him out. All right. Let's go check out some... Let's go check out some rays. This is a great place. Oh my gosh. Sharks and stingrays. Sharks and stingrays. What do we got here, Sharon? Oh, caution. The shark has teeth and can bite. <laughs> the shark, caution. What's that? The shark has teeth and can bite. Where's he at? He just swam around. Sharon, did you get the pet yeah, one? Yeah, I did. I missed it. Felt very soft. These have, these are some pretty good sized specimens in here. Yeah. There's a hammerhead. In there. Oh, here comes another one. Here, here comes one. Oh, it's still kind of staying kind of low. I'm not sure what kind of rays these are. Some big ones in here, though. Mm -hmm. Wow. We got here a little reef action. Sharon, what are you doing in here? Well, I'm just trying to find this young lady who's talking to me, so I was just trying to go inside her booth, but there's no door behind her, so I don't know how she got in there. This is like magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like magic.
Hey guys, I'm here at the Little Red Schoolhouse with Jeff Collier. He's the mayor of Dolphin Island, and he just wanted to give you guys a little shout out and say hi. Yeah, well, here we are. Welcome to Dolphin Island, the sunset capital of Alabama. We're here at the Welcome Center and Museum. We've got a lending library. And if you haven't been to Dolphin Island before, we are a just about 30 minutes south of Mobile, Alabama. Uh, laid back community, uh, great place to come and enjoy a lot of recreational activities here, including the beaches, a lot of fishing, or just a place to come and do nothing. So uh, when you get a chance, look us up, come down and spend some time with us. Always happy to have new folks check out and enjoy everything Dolphin Island has to offer. We hope to see you soon. What do we got here? What do we got here? The Audubon Bird Sanctuary. Helpful tint, hint when you're out hiking somewhere is before you head out, take a picture of the map. Smart. Because it never fails, you get halfway through there, and oh, do we go right or left? Because oftentimes they're not marked very well. And you don't want to be with Dwight, that's for sure, because... Oh, he's he's horrible at directions. In the city, I am really good, but you get me out in the woods, <laughs> he might as well pack a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and dinner. And dinner. Hopefully not breakfast. Look at this giant bonsai tree. <laughs> Pretty cool down the woodland trail here at the Audubon. Yes. A Japanese family moved to Dauphine Island in the early 1880s and planted this little bonsai tree outside their front door. This is how it has grown. Sharon, your recollection of history is <laughs> outstanding. And if you believe that story, <laughs> you're more gullible. Alligators present. Do not leave children or pets unattended. Okay, we have to be told that. Huh? Do not feed the alligator, Sharon. Wow, this is pretty cool. Do we see any alligators? Don't get too close, but do we see any gators? Nice. Look at this, oh my gosh. Holy cow, that is so pretty. Looks like a cruise ship way out there. All those, we learned that it probably not all oil rigs, probably tons of natural gas rigs out there, way out there. But look at how pretty this water and beach is. We're gonna go out there here in just a moment. Oh, looks like a nice this is so pretty. Maybe yeah, frosty. Nice. right up there in the, tr in the uh, pole they made. Made it look like a tree for them. Wow, this is crazy cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And they don't want you to get on the dunes. Never ever walk on dunes. If you guys remember Sharon's little dune talk on the Anastasia mm -hmm. Island, you'll know you do not walk on dunes. They're a part of habitat. They're part of what protects the further the lands further in as well. But look at this. We're going to go walk on, on the beach here in just a second. Right now we're standing on what's called the tertiary dune system. But in front of it is the primary and secondary dune. So the primary one is the one that's facing the waters closest to the ocean. And then as it mounds up and goes behind it, that's kind of the secondary dune. So that's basically the first dune. And then the second dune is what's called tertiary, which means tertia from Latin, earth, terra. That's actually where trees and bushes have actually started to grow. So that's what we're on right now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Gulf of Mexico. Just, look at these white sand beaches. Ooh, nice. A lot of houses over there. So we're on the south side of the island. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Sharon, this was definitely worth the stop. Oh my god. Audubon bird sanctuary. To be honest, we haven't seen any birds. I are really birders. We're not really too interested in birds themselves. Yeah. But we just came here because it's great, some great walks here. There's over three miles of trails. Both and in look the at this island hammock, and then of yeah. course out by the ocean. Look where this so, ends up. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Can yeah. you see the fort from here? Um, the yeah, I'm probably down around the corner down there. All right, we're gonna do a time lapse. 
Yeah, we got such cheap equipment, we gotta do our own time lapse. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, Sharon, hold up. We gotta do slow mo now. <laughs> We're gonna do slow mo now. Sharon, I don't think the trams run on Friday. <laughs> oh, dang. I've been waiting here for half an hour. You picked the wrong day to go hiking in the Audubon Park. <laughs> clean up the beach day. Here we go. You grab a bag and you can help clean up the beach. They do that all over Dolphin Island, which is really, really cool. Every time you see a beach access, you see that. What's that? Where are we at? Cool. This has got quite a ways to go. Yeah, does it? Nice. That's not like you're on the other side of it. Catching anything today? Uh, I think I saw a pretty good bite just now. Did you? What, what do you think it was? Don't know. Don't know? Unknown. Unknown bite. I like it. What's your name? Frank. Frank, mine's Dwight. Good to meet you, Frank. Good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you my Good to friend. Meet you. Okay, then. Good to meet you. We travel vlog, and so uh, we're just out checking out the area and everything. So we appreciate you meeting up. Did you catch anything at all today? I just got here about 10 minutes ago. About 10 minutes ago. So time is early yet. Time is early yet. Nice. Well, you have a crowd gathering around you. You do. For you, to... you do. You have a crowd <laughs> gathering around you waiting for you guys, waiting for me to catch something. Where are you from? We're from St. Augustine, actually. We're full-time okay. RV from Florida. Okay. And we full-time RV now. Okay. So we're just out traveling the country, okay. meeting great people like yourself, Frank. Having a good time. Having a good time. So we can't wait to the sunset. I bet the sunset here is phenomenal. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got something. Oh, yeah. Grammy, we got something here. That's awesome. There it, there it is. I can see it out there. That's awesome. Come on, get it in there. We have full faith in you, Frank. Oh, yeah. I won't let you down. I know you won't. There it is. That bird's coming, too. Woo, check this out. That's awesome. That's a trout. Nice. Oh, I like it. That is so cool. Man, that's awesome. Wow. He's gonna, be, he's gonna make the skillet. He's gonna make the skillet. <laughs> Good for you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I just need to. He's gonna make the skillet report. He's gonna make the skillet report. <laughs> nice. There's Frank casting out for the next skillet ready trout. Everybody gave up on me. How about that? Everybody's gone but Frank. <laughs> he's got the beach to himself. That's awesome. That's what I love. What a pretty setting though, right? And God is so good. And when you think about the blessing that he gives you to wake up every day and the one that wasn't able to, to wake up and appreciate the day and the one that did, that can't appreciate the day, that won't appreciate the day, he let me do it. He let you do it. So I do it in the name of Jesus for everybody. How about well, that? We are honored to know you, my okay, friend. Then. That is fantastic. Okay, then. Woo. Hang on, Sharon. Jeez. Anyway, we just had a great morning and early afternoon at Fort Gaines in the aquarium, and now we're gonna head over to a restaurant for lunch, um, Pirate Something. We'll check it out when we get there. Supposed to, it comes highly recommended by the locals and our campground host. So we're gonna go have us maybe some fresh seafood and some great views of the beach before maybe we hang out with a little bit of sunset if we got enough energy left in us. So come on along for lunch. There we go, we found it. 
Pirates Bar and Grill, and I believe it to be part of an old, the building is part of an old resort that used to be here, and there's still some, I think, golf course here and some tennis courts, but if I turn this around, you can start seeing some mid-century modern architecture from back in the day over there. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, have something to eat. Oh, did you see the pool? No, what they got? We got a pool? Yes, right here. Oh, check it out. They're supposed to do wings and stuff on like Wednesday nights and all. Oh my gosh, it's green, Sharon. Oh yeah, it's obviously not open, it's winter, but it's, look, it's a circular. It is a circular pool and that nothing says mid-century modern like circular. And you can see the circular building over there, dining area. Check it out. They got a Mardi Gras tree. Look at that over there. This is a very cool place. Nice. All right, show it, Sharon. Show us what we got here. This place looks really cool. Look at this. It's got a pretty good local reputation. Oh, hi there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go right ahead. We're just doing a little vlog here. It was so good early. You came back for some more, huh? No, we're, we we haven't been here. But I rumor has it, rumor has it that this is the place to eat, and that's why we're here. Well, we're glad you found it. Well, I was talking to the locals. They said you got to come here. Yeah, everybody said this is the place. And I found it on the internet. I said, that just looks like mid-century modern. Come on, I, I got to go check it out. You can look up the owners. You can look at the people that built it, too, and you can see all their other places they built. Nice. Right, because this used to be part of the Dolphin Island. Dolphin. Right, Country Club back in the 57. 57. Wow. So, so yeah, it's really cool. I love it. And I love places like this. I love their. Look at this, guys. Look at this amazing place. You can't beat this. This is so cool. All right, we got we got to go find Sharon. She went upstairs to out to the balcony. Where'd she go? Nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, you gotta come here. If the food is anything like the atmosphere, this is the place to be. There's Sharon. This is pretty amazing, Sharon. It is, what a view, huh? This is crazy cool. <laughs> There's Bree making a making us my first drink. She's making a Long Island iced tea over there. She's gonna give me a little slice of orange. Nice. This is such a cool place. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Bree, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's amazing look. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look delicious? Raw that oysters. Looks Raw nice. Oysters. That looks pretty good, Sharon. Very good. Mm. Mm. And Bree's working on a Bloody Mary over there that she is absolutely famous for. I've got to go grab the slice of bacon. That's all you're missing. Just the bacon? Oh, we gotta we gotta have bacon, Bree. Gotta have the bacon. All right, she's back with the bacon. Ooh. There you go. You got to have toothpicks with curly Q things on them. The pirate flag. You got to have a pirate flag? Nice. Look at this. Wow, look at that. That's that amazing. Mary. That is amazing. It's got bacon, the sh shrimp. Yeah, it's got bacon, yeah. shrimp, olives, which I'm not a big fan of, but Sharon's going to have those. <laughs> Little string bean action here. Zing zang. It's, this is going to be flawless. I can feel it. How perfect with all of the rest of the oysters and the crab. How are the oysters and the crab? Oh, excellent. Excellent. Good choice. Good recommendation.